Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore World of Warcraft. My name is Saiken and this is the Diary of Death of our Frost Mage, where we're trying to play the game uh, without dying. Uh, it is time for Searing Gorge, which is the higher level version uh, of uh, the zone that we had uh, recently been in. And we have quite a few quests to go through. Number one, we need fractured uh, elemental shards, which we can get from these war reavers. So that'll be our first order of business. We want to move over here to the Dread uh, Mall Rock and complete that quest, which uh, will be interesting. And we need a Broodling Essences, which I would assume, as the name implies, comes from the Broodlings that are flying around here. We had a bit of a server latency uh, issue, so I've now created the script in order to give me an exact uh, server latency. Currently 60 ping is fine, but it's doable. We had 600 just a few seconds ago when I was starting the recording. And yeah, logically I was afraid that something would not be well. But apparently now it's good again. So we are going to kill the War Reavers and a couple of the whelps. Uh, that will be a bit of grinding. The War Reavers are interesting. They are amongst the most deadly uh, creatures, but their average victim level is 46. So uh, that already shows you that someone was trying to pass uh, through here, maybe to get to the Badlands. Uh, certainly not at the right level. And these guys here, the Obsidians, they are a little bit uh, scary because they uh, do have Spell Reflect and really don't want to deal with them. So if we can get the War Reavers instead, I'm all out for that. Cool. The Whelps should be, or the Broodlings with the Essences, should be the other uh, creature that we're looking for. And a bit of wildlife is also here. Ember dogs, etc., etc. These uh, broodlings are, fun fact, very similar to the broodlings in the Lair of Anuxia. So one can already get a bit used to small dragons. Granted, the one in the Lair of Anuxia, I don't remember that they had a fireball. They were more melee. They had a very similar model. Good, so War Reavers. Gosh, these guys, if we need to take these fractured essences, that means we need to kill a lot of War Reavers. Luckily for us, they are slow. Let's talk about uh, our zone a little bit more. Once we have killed uh, this guy here. Okay, so overall. We should be careful around here, as uh, there are elite dragonkin, the same ones uh, that are in <coughs> uh, lower and upper URBS. So uh, we're looking at mid-50 elite mobs, uh, so we definitely don't want to run into those. And other than that, it's a relatively straightforward zone. Less um, questing compared to the Searing Gorge, <clears throat> but nonetheless a couple of interesting ones. And I think <clears throat> some of the stuff that we're doing is also preparing us for BRD. If I remember vaguely, uh, some of the quests were at least um, pre-quests for BRD later. All right, so let me fast forward uh, the grinding of uh, the golems and the dragon whelps and continue good small update we need to get the tablet here so since that is right there might as well kill the agent 
Cool. Continuing the grind for the shards. Very good. Got the last fractured elemental shard. With that, elementals are out. And we are going to get some broodlings from here. Plus, are going to do that quest over there. So, pre-buffing ourselves. And let's go. This area is still plenty dangerous. If you're running into the wrong <clears throat> enemies and if i recall correctly there was another dragon that was roaming these lands i might be off on the recollection here oh and the cave yeah i think there were orcs um, or ogres here as well In any event, my motivation to go into caves here is quite limited. As you can see, we're killing little whelps wherever possible. And we still want the dread, dread mole trade in, plus the brutlings on the edge. Yeah, it was ogres. It was ogres, man. It's always ogres. Ogres in their caves. All right, let me go to the trade-in. All right, fantastic. So we worked our way up this hill, mainly by like walking, but we need to kill a couple of ogres. Uh, we don't have a quest for them though, so I was not going overboard with it. And now we got the remains up here. Fire ward just in case. Homgol. We need the ro nose ring. Where exactly would I find that? Oh, with the ogres. Well, now we got uh, a ogre killing quest. I was just waiting for an excuse to go down and kill them. <laughs> Just double checking from Cromgul and return it. Okay, I assume Cromgul finds himself in that nice little cave. the entrance and then it's cave time before we're getting the whelps done even that we're going to fight inside of the cave i rather want to have all of the power i could get so pop the arcane elixir The crits for 920. Okay. And if I take a wild guess, I would think he's potentially near the end of the cave. A typical structure than it is I'm going to be an S shape uh, type relatively big actually uh, there's enough mountain for that so. getting stead, uh, stead buff or stead food as well okay let's clear the entrance Wow, 
950 crits. That's great. I love it. This one here is for safety if we just need to run out straight. <coughs> because these guys here will respawn very soon. Take down three of them in a row without running out of mana. That's, that's a good start. we have cleared a little bit of the area challenge but yeah enemies are starting to deal quite a bit of damage so we gotta be careful okay so attempt number two but i tell you what this guy here code aggro if we're not careful might as well make sure that he does not Spawning and patrols are real. Should have cleared most of uh, the guys that are in our way. It's a matter of not doing any unnecessarily stupid uh, pull. Clearing up the rest a little bit and then we should be fine. Good. Boss is further upstairs so we need to take the route upstairs i think it's deeper in the cave or maybe it is the cave upstairs nah i think it is deeper inside of this cave Already 
gotten rid of all of uh, the potential controls. So it should be around the corner and then upwards, if I'm not mistaken. It is upstairs. Pretty sure it is. I'll check that uh, direction. But I'm almost certain that it is upstairs. think that that leads upstairs to be fair I don't fully remember the entire layout but I am 90% sure that it doesn't lead upstairs found our respawn. So we're going to get out of here. Random patrol slash respawn. So, let me get out, and whilst I'm doing that, uh, I'll fast forward it for you. I need to get upstairs, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Alright, of course there was a different entrance on the other side of the mountain, which we're now in. Let's hope that that is leading to the cave. Yet another big cave. sure that we're not falling for any of uh, the respawns. Plus, 
that we're more uh, that we are quickly clearing most of this. Can't really stay in combat for all too long. With caves, time is at the essence. Quick and consistent clear. Little pauses. Or as little as possible. That is not him either. Starting to be concerned where exactly that guy is. I mean, I don't mind killing ogres, but I mind being in a cave doing uh, in the meantime. They're not respawning as fast. Killed them on the way out. Yeah, it should be around the corner now. Hopefully. the way I don't know man Close, we're close, we're close. This is where he should be, but I'm not seeing him. This is exactly where he should be, but I must have taken a wrong turn. It's also where the random patrols are, or immediate reason. I'm not sure which of the two. Needed to shorten camp and help my family. That's never good. In the middle of a cave. So let's get our feet, uh, our feet back. sure that we find this guy unbelievable where is he
but we're going to stand with the back to the wall because they do have a small knockback. I don't want to be kicked off that ledge. Good, I think we have a little safe spot here. Brood, brood, brood. None of these guys are our target. Damn, man, we're lost here. All right, I became smart, uh, read up and figured he is patrolling uh, the area somewhere so what we did is we marked him first of all we targeted him with slash target crumb and now marked him because all of this here is nice but not needed markings can be seen through the wall through walls Bad timing of the end. Very bad timing. Now it's time to not panic. But essentially get uh, this guy down. friend here and then kill the last one We still can't see him and we're in the deepest deepest part of a cave so i'll make my way out of here and we're fast forwarding that for you guys just when i was about to go out i realized that chrome wool is actually here Now what we need is a decent place where we can start clearing this cave. Uh, this guy here might be a good first, uh, first target. his hits good there is a patrol which I will try to get next just needing to make sure that he is out of range to not pull any of the others Interesting quest, man. Can't help to feel a bit stressed inside of the cave, so... I'm going to get a bit of extra space for us here. Should not pull the 
Boss. Good. Kill, kill, kill. That's the order of things. Wow, that's an intense quest. Regaining my stat buff, and then we should be good to go. All right, I hope the pathing will get him over here and not like through the cave. Seems to be yes. That's what it does. Quick mana zip, and we're ready for Kugo. Who by himself? It's not even that big of a threat. Matter of fact, it's not at all. But boy, the whole cave, man. That was something else. All right, we'll move out and hand in uh, the quest. We need to return it to Hargath. Okay, no problem. I tell you what, uh, I don't feel like running through uh, the entire uh, cave again. We're just recalling and taking a flight path. Better be safe than sorry. All right, so we made it to Booty Bay where my Hearthstone is uh, sitting and I just ran into yet another uh, world buffing session. So we got the Spirit of Zalandar. And I got myself a mark of the wild as well, which is cool. Uh, both of that, great. Um, let's talk about next steps. We are trading in two quests in um, in Kaga, Kargath. Uh, number one would be Rise of the Machines, which is the golems that we killed, and number two, Kromgol, uh, which we just did. That was an intense quest, by the way. Then we're flying down here uh, to get the Tablet of the Seven, and finally the brutling essences and i think we should be more or less done then unless there is kind of a follow-up if that is the case uh, then the plan afterwards would be essentially next step um, is felwood i would think because we still have uh, level 54 55 couple of uh, and another 55 so that's kind of right up our ally uh, ellie the other option is to go to unguru do these quests uh which are 53 and yeah pawn Cryptus queen is another very a hard quest so rather not going to do that but uh, unguru would definitely be another option ashara not that much really not that much there isn't uh, that much left so those would be the two options fellwood and uh, the unguru crater and both of them are quite uh, quite nice so if we look at of course one of the biggest quest hubs eastern um, west, yeah western plaguelands rather 
then there is a bit that we could do but most of it is around 55 and the thought process is uh, western plaquelands being western plaquelands we might want to do that a bit later um, western plaquelands similar so uh, that's another one and then finally um, there are quite a few quests available in um, winter spring around level 52 so we could theoretically make our way through here um, get to winter spring and start questing there as well so we do have options uh, there are definitely options available but i think the uh, most sensible solution would be Yunguro Crater into Fellwood uh, just to kind of tidy up some loose ends and by that point we are uh, very much level 54 then winter spring potentially the first duration of quest like everything up to 55 ish maybe in, even a 56 here and there winter spring is relatively easy to quest um, and then yeah when the eastern and western plaguelands are calling very good so given that we do have buffs let's make sure that we're quick and efficient so we traded that one in Broken Alliance is definitely not a quest that I want to do. Where exactly is from the wall? says here with from goal um, and return it to tal uh, truck who seems very much absent all right apparently he is patrolling tal truck that is there he is and when he's patrolling apparently he can't uh, take any quests now that we've marked him uh, that guy just needs to go back we're handing in the rise of the machines and then we're going back to him good rise of the machines it is of the machines is that true oh this time it is in brd well that's cool and all and i appreciate uh, mm, there's some really good uh, mm, stuff that uh, we could get but for now brd is a bit too high and I could always gain a couple more quests. So, Tal Truck, please be so kind and let me trade in uh, my quest. That would be really awesome. Thank you. Black Rock uh, Mount. That, I think, is another BRD quest, right? Okay, cool. That's a follow-up of uh, what we just did, which is good. Uh, showcases that we're uh, freeing up a couple of, or unlocking a couple of quests, which is good. And we're now back to the burning steps. All right, Tablet of the Seven. I 
kidding me? Now we need to bring that into the burning steps. No way, right? The heart of the mountain. Uh, yeah, that's another BRD uh, quest. Cool. So we unlocked uh, yet another quest. Next up, we are going to get the Brutling Essences. And I think then we're done here. All right. After trying it a little bit, I came to the conclusion uh, that the Brutling Essences are just not worth it. One, they are next to uh, elite mobs regularly, and number two, they are just not dropping frequently enough. So, tough luck, maybe another time. I'll hand in a quest in Thunder Bluff and we'll do Feralis a bit off st um, stream, I think. So, we're going to re rejoin the character when uh, it is level 54. Thanks a lot for watching, truly appreciate that, and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye. All right, back in Fellwood. This time we have lost our world buff, but uh, we organized ourselves a little tiny stamina buff, which should, at least from a hit point perspective, make up for it. We're still rocking 3,000 hit points, which is good. Um, this time, however, we're fighting some of the deadliest enemies here. Second deadliest enemy, the good old Shadow Stalker. We're going to fight Satyrs. And I mentioned those and uh, the bucks in and around Phyllis are uh, the two enemies that I respect the most because uh, they have uh, by far the most kill potential. So, what we're going to do is we're going all the way into their camp and are releasing a uh, kitten at their moon fall, uh, fell uh, hopefully uh, finishing the quest then afterwards we're trading it in we trade in this uh, quest so we're in a good place boys we're in a good place a couple of quests to trade in overall we're just overall doing very well i'm super happy with the mage uh, spec and with how he plays out that last cave was I wouldn't say easy but it was not scary and that is a good thing with the cave just having a lot of escape tools <clears throat> frost mages are incredibly strong I wonder how the other two specs are, um, are holding up with the frost mage uh, spec would have been also an interesting leveling perspective just to go for instance arcane which is a bit of an odd spec in classic uh, world of warcraft but to be fair one of uh, my ideas with that uh, run uh, was to first of all try out how wow hardcore is and use something that i am intimately familiar with so Frost Mage it is, and I'm not regretting a single thing like uh, this Frost Mage. It's, it's just an absolute blast to play. There we go. See, that's how it happens. You're getting ambushed in the middle of pull. All of a sudden, you can't really get out. That's why this guy is the second most deadly foe in the entirety of the zone. Oh, does he have poison as well? <laughs> nice. Okay. It's getting better and better, man. Slowing poison for 61%. <laughs> wow. Okay. I do understand how, uh, how he can be deadly. Good. Let's get in a little bit uh, deeper. And no, that was not a that's what she said joke. We are wanting to go to the uh, pool in order to release the cat. I'll fast forward that uh, for you guys uh, because we uh, want to see more quests than just this one. Alright, we're at uh, the pool. Time 
to release uh, the kitten. There we go. Kitten is released. And we are going back to trade that kitten in. All right, we're back at it. Uh, done the quest and realized, by the way, after talking to a friendly player, that our initial journey to the Moonblade is costing us dearly because uh, there are the timber or uh, full borgs are not the same than all of the other full borgs. And matter of fact, we want to befriend them and gain reputation for uh, clearing a couple of their leaders. We didn't take that too lightly. And in terms of reputation, we're now, uh, you start at 2,500 out of 3,000 and kind of can get too unfriendly within a few quests. That's no longer possible for us before, because we killed some, which means I will need to grind. Not that I mind that too much, but it is just what it is. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that faction. In the meantime, uh, we got a couple of elemental here, elemental sea of warp wood uh, shredders, and all we need to do is get 15 blood ember. Then up here, that wood uh, in the north is, I think, another quest which uh, we can do in order to get timber uh, more faction. And yeah, then we really shouldn't kill some of them. That was unfortunate bit of a stupid situation. Additionally, uh, I've been asked for a sunken tip uh, which would be cool if it materializes and because I want to showcase you guys dungeon play. So for now, fast forwarding on uh, the elementals here because killing them is not that exciting. All right, maybe time to get some of our reputation back. Deadwood, Den Watcher, and uh, Shannons need to be killed. Uh, so that's down there. And that will indeed give us uh, Timber more reputation. All right, after grinding quite a few feathers, shall I say, I have now, I think, reached a level where in this cave do not hate me. So let's see if my suspicion is true, else uh, I need to redo it. Yeah, you're dubious. <laughs> Very good, cool. So walking to Winterfell now and uh, ending in a couple quests there. Cool. So a couple of Winterfall quests already, of course we're not uh, going to do them yet, but you can see they are level 56, so no longer orange. Uh, might be something to come back to soon-ish. Uh, we're going to hand in another quest and then we're going to get the flight path and our flying back. All right. Threat of Winterfall. Oh, okay. All right, we got an important uh, flight path uh, here finally. Back to Fellwood and let's trade in uh, the quests. All right, handing in yet another quest. Cleansing Fellwood. Thank you. Okay, and we can either gain uh, soul shards or gathering. Okay, uh, that's not bad. We need those in order to cleanse. And let's get another uh, quest trade in uh, right over here. which should be pretty much the last uh, quest. Yeah, other than uh, how, uh, hunting and gathering, there isn't that much more we can uh, do, which means I'll be 
uh, grinding some reputation slash going to Yunduru Crater. The end episode ends here and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get that uh, STGU uh, to go. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.